In this Divi theme tutorial, I want to show you creative ways of using anchor links in your designs. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, you'll get access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. Links to that in the video description below. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do here is to install Divi. I've already gone ahead and installed it. So the next step now is to add a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. I'm just gonna close out of this and let's give this page a name. I'm just gonna call this Mac and then click on use Divi Builder. All right, so we have these three options. So what I'm gonna do for this example here is to choose a pre-made layout because we don't wanna spend too much time here creating everything from scratch. This will take away valuable time because this technique just requires you to just uh, master a few concepts and we're good to go. So let's choose a pre-made layout here. And again, on the pre-made layout, it doesn't really matter what pre-made layout you use. You can just choose any because the technique we're going to use here can work pretty much on any layout. All right, so I'm just going to scroll through this and uh, I'm going to go with whatever comes to mind. Okay, let's go with this one here. I'm going to select the layout. Great. So our layout now has been installed, which is fantastic. So the next step now is to target what we need to add anchor links to. So the first thing I need to do here is to find somewhere that we're going to click. So we want that when we click here on, uh, say, for example, looking for a job, we want this to take us all the way down here to the bottom and go to job listings. So this is very, very important. OK, so I'm going to come over here now and I'm going to go into this section setting. So I'm going to click here on section settings. All right. So here what we need to do is to come over here to advanced. CSS ID and classes, and we need to add our CSS ID here. So we need to decide what the ID needs to be. So I'm gonna call this listing like that. So it's very important that this is the same spelling with uh, where we're going to link it from. So now that we have our CSS ID here, I am going now to save. In fact, you know what? Before we save, we want to uh, locate this so that we can see that we've made our change. So I'm just going to come over here to the background and just give this a temporary color so we can easily identify it. OK, so don't look at this as a design thing. OK, so I'm going to save here. And then now I can go and uh, find this button here. So let's go in. I'm going to click on this gear icon and we are going to go to button one which is looking for a job. And we're going to give this a link. So I'm going to come over here to link. So here we have button one URL. So for that, I'm going to add this uh, hashtag and we need to add the word listing. So it's very important that this word listing is spelled the same as we had it on the CSS ID of the section. Otherwise, this won't work. All right. So now that I have it here, I'm going to save. And to check if this is working, I'm going to hit publish and exit the Visual Builder. So this doesn't work while the Visual Builder is active. So now that I've saved this, I'm going to exit the Visual Builder. All right. So now when I click here, look at that. It's gone straight to the listing that we assigned this to. This is really cool. So if we come back here, let's do it one more time. Boom. It takes us to, hang on, let's do it one more time. There we go. So it's taking us to the listings. Now, this can also be applied to any menu heading. So this is really cool. So, so those websites that you've seen, which have, say, a single page uh, type website, you can add your anchors that way. You can also use these anchors as links on the actual um, text on your website. And I'm going to show you how to do this. So first of all, let's do it on the menu. So I'm going to go back over here and we are going to um, open this in a new tab. So I'm just going to come over here to my dashboard. Right. So what we're going to do now is uh, let's have a look at our menu. So I've got a lot of uh, pages here on our menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this by coming over here to appearance and menus because we haven't created a menu here. So let's call this main menu. So in your case, you probably might have your menu already created. So now I'm gonna click on create menu. And notice I've assigned this to the primary menu. So all I have to do now is to add all my links to my menu. So I'm just gonna add these, uh, these links here and save menu. Okay, great. So now if I come over here to my site and I refresh this, we're going to notice that we are going to have uh, our menu here now a bit simplified. Okay, there we go. So we have less things on my menu here. 
So the next thing I need to do now is to go to my menu, right? And I'm on a page called Mac. So you can see here, this is the name of the page. So we want that when someone clicks on uh, this link here, it takes them to that part of the website. Okay, so I'm going to come back over here and let's find Mac. And here it is. So we need to add a link. So for this to work, we need to add a um, private link. So I'm going to come over here to custom links. And for this one here, you need to add the hashtag on the URL. And it needs to be called listing. So let's just call this page listing like that. We're going to add to menu. There we go. We have it here. I'm going to save. So let me refresh this page now. So there we go. When I click on listing, it goes straight to that part of my website. Now, isn't that cool? So you can use this over and over again on pretty much any part of your website. Now, let me show you the third way you can use these anchor links. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my site or to my page, enable the visual builder and show you how you can do this with text on your website. So for this one here, we're just going to scroll down and uh, let's use this text here. So I'm going to go into my text module here and I'm just going to highlight lorem ipsum here. Okay, like that. We're going to come over here to this link and I'm going to uh, add my hashtag and the word listing. Click OK. And then I'm going to save that. So now we have this as a link. I'm going to exit. I'm going to save it first, save the page and exit the visual builder. So I'm going to come over here, exit the visual builder. All right. So when I scroll down and uh, look for that text, here it is. And when I click on this, boom, it's taken us to that section. So this is a creative way of uh, using anchor links in your designs to easily direct people who are surfing your website. So try them out, very easy to implement, but just make sure that when you use this, you need to make sure that the spellings are right. Otherwise, this won't work. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.